Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Makes it out to about the 39. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. For the 10. He scores! What a play! Now you're looking at someone who makes the defense nervous because not every quarterback can break off a run like that. He's a real talent. And he converts the extra point with a three-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So the score now, 7-0. He'll return it from the three, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The Bulldogs have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 21. Around the 23 yard line. Third down. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going for the meetings the other day? is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Get to that quickly. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play action, and it gives you more time to get to that point where the quarterback's looking for you to be at, but make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. Missouri is up by a touchdown. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. Nice run up the middle. 
So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. It's first down. First and goal here inside the five-yard line. And they make the stop at the three-yard line. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Touchdown, Missouri! And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Battle of wills down there in the pits, and that's on the offense one. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. And he's tackled at the 26. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Around the 41-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. And he hits him hard. The 48-yard line. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Tigers are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for them. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game. And if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline, what we can do to stop this powerful offense. Fires out to his wide and he's tackled at the 36-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five-wide receiver set. Here's a screen to the wide out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's leveled at the 37. Caught with room to work. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 25-yard line.
And down he goes at the four-yard line. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. This should be an easy field goal. First quarter is over. Watch out, folks. This one is turning into a major upset. 14-0, Tigers. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 45. From their own 45-yard line, first down. There was some movement on the line. Ball start, start. offense. Off Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on the 39. Adams at about the 49. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Tracy to pull it in. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. That brings him second and five. From the 28 yard line, second down. Let's it fly. Incomplete pass. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw, and it got away from him. They knock it down. Incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. They're going to try a long field goal here. It has the distance, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 17-3, Missouri. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. 
He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Throws incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was From their own 16-yard line, it's third down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number two was the intended receiver. That brings us to and 15. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle at the 39. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Got the corner. And they push him out at the 33. Tries to get around the corner. He's at the 20. Makes it out to about the 13. That's a deep turn. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. Three yard gain by the running back. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. The Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half. Tackle made at the three. So they complete that for about seven yards, and they'll pick up a first down. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. The quarterback's looking very sharp on this track. They're at the three. It's second down. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still second down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. He's out of bounds at the five. A three-yard gain on the old screen pass. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Kick is, it's a fake. Dumps it across the middle, caught for the touchdown. Change of quarterback, Kirby. Got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. His next man up, they've got to be ready to trust this guy. And he hits.
gets the PAT. A nine-play, 55-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 17-10. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They come out in an empty backfield. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Missouri up seven points. Scrambling around. And now he's going to run. Decides to slide. Throws complete. He's down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From the 38-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. Right down at the 21. stop at the 12-yard line. Missouri's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. He's on the run. They bring him down. He's going to try and scramble. The five. And that sets them up for the first and goal. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. And a man, open touchdown. Point. A nine play, 72 yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 24 10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Taken down around the 35-yard line. And he's tackled at the 38. That'll make it second and seven. Going long. And he's immediately tackled. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. It's up. And they tack on three points. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 24-13, Tiger.
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it at harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. It's fielded at the two. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down to the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. two-yard line. It's second down. The halfback with a carry. Looking for the corner. He's brought down in the open field. Scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackle after decent pickup. That's a second. That makes it first and goal. Play is number eight on the drive. And he throws it away. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. They hand it off. Touchdown, Georgia! A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time.
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Georgia is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. We're about set to start things up again. Missouri is up by four. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle at the 36 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle made at the 47th. guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Out of bounds at the 50-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set and the defense counters with their dime look. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's taken down to the 37-yard line. Second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. That's a great tackle at the 15-yard line. Missouri is up four. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. It's second and goal. Ball on the 14-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. Georgia's a team on a mission right now, it appears. They have put up 20 points in a row. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. 
And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Excellent open field tackle. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it third and three. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40. Toss left and he'll lose yards. Final quarter of play. Will the offensive fireworks continue? Missouri's lead is a touchdown. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. And he's taken down at the 40. What a great game for this quarterback, showing off a wide-ranging skill set. This is what makes it so difficult to stop this quarterback, is his versatility. If you load up to stop his ability to run the football, then he'll throw it by you. If you sit back and are concerned about his arm strength, then he has the athletic ability to scramble and take off. I think it's just a combination of his skills. He's got the strong arm, great athletic ability, and also the awareness of when to take off with it. It's just kept this defense on their heels the entire game. A score here might effectively end this one. Missouri is up by a touchdown. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. play here. The quarterback gives it up and they get good yardage. Great play. And he tackles him hard at the 39. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds at about the 35. receiver first down and they make the stop right around the 26 yard line from the 26 yard line first down
inside the 10. He gets to about the 5. Less than three minutes in the game. Wide receiver screenplay. Touchdown, Tigers! And he adds the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. This is where you always hear that saying, the big-time players make big plays in big games. But this is where somebody on this offense needs to step up and be that big-time player. It's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Fired quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at the 37. That makes it first and ten. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. That makes it second and ten. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Just under two to go in the game. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick strike and he drops it. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Here's an opening. He takes it right side for a good game. He kept it himself and picked up about six yards. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice run up the middle. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. Makes it to the 21. Georgia's called their final timeout. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. over a minute in the fourth quarter. Scrambling. And he is drilled at the three-yard line. 
So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. And down he goes at the one. So much scoring and so much fun. And finally, it's over. 34-20, Missouri. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.